Hey guys, I have, uh, well, I hesitate to call this an unboxing because I already opened it. And well, I already took the liberty of uh, setting up part of it. Yeah, Keysmart. I didn't know what this was. It had my name on it. It didn't really have the company. It just said fulfillment and it didn't say who it was from. So I tore into it and then I couldn't resist at least putting together the Keysmart Rugged because I've been talking about doing or switching back to a Keysmart and I wanted one with a clip. Definitely putting this one to the test, but there's plenty more in this box and, and something that's not out yet. Actually, no, by the time this video comes out, it's not gonna be available. It'll just be available for pre-order. So let's get inside this box. All right, so I think this might be the biggest package I've received yet. I have already cut it open, so that suspense is gone. And the first thing I noticed in here was a, a Keysmart, another Keysmart. This is just the basic Keysmart, the one that's been around for a while. It is pretty slim, so if you do have more than, say, five, six keys, you're going to actually need the extension. Uh, you can buy those bolts separately. But yeah, this was the one that I've been carrying for quite a while. Uh, stopped carrying it just because I wanted to mix things up. And now I have one with a pocket clip. But yeah, this was also in the box, the Keysmart Rugged. The biggest difference here is these are much thicker. The sides, the frame is much thicker and it's got a pocket clip. And it does also come with an extension. Uh, it does not come with the tools you see inside here. So I've got the stowaway tools from Klecker, which is a Griffin pocket tool and the interchangeable bit screwdriver. So those actually came with the EDC Keysmart kit from Huckberry. They're not standard. You can buy them separately on Amazon. I'll actually link to them down below if you want to check them out. So next up, we've seen this recently, the Tile Slim. This is the new Tile, fits inside wallets. People were asking when I did the Nomad unboxing, couldn't I just buy a Tile Slim separate and put it in my wallet? Yeah, you absolutely can. And here's proof. Speaking of Tile, Keysmart actually works with Tile on a few different things. One of them being the Keysmart Pro, which is I think, they actually said they meant to send me a Keysmart Pro instead of the basic Keysmart. So I will have a Keysmart Pro coming my way. The difference with the Keysmart Pro is built, I would say almost a little more like the Keysmart Rugged only because it's thicker and it's thicker because it actually en encases a very tiny rechargeable tile. I think it's rechargeable, not 100% sure, but it's not metal. I believe it's all plastic, um, but still same thing. It's very similar in size. I would say more similar in size to the Rugged than the original Keysmart, but it does have a tile built into your keys pretty cool. So you don't have to have an extra little key dongle, like the little small tiles that you put on your keychain. It's built into your key organizer, which is really nice. Next up is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. This thing is heavy. It's small, it's slim, and it looks like it's made of metal. Let's just open this up. Why not? Right? We've all seen a million bajillion power banks. I've, you can never have too many. And if you can, then I probably already have too many. Oh, that's built really nice. Uh, you have two ports. Looks like one is a quick charge. You've got just two outputs, uh, one amp and up to 2.4 amps. So yeah, quick charge. Also, it's, it's orange. That's why I'm saying quick charge. I don't know if you can see it's orange. And then there's your input and a battery indicator. Built really well. It's heavy. I like it. You guys may remember, maybe you don't. I don't know if you've followed me for years. I made one of these over on my other channel, which is at the time it was mod. Now it's known as modern outdoor dweller, but this is an elastic organizer and it holds your gear. Get rid of that. Uh, and that, that's really all there is to it. You put this down inside your bag and then this organizes all your stuff. So you can put, this might be a little small for it. You got to put it under the, like a small one. Uh, just for representation, we'll put the tile in there where my knife went and put that in there too. And you can hold things like cords and headphones and all kinds of stuff. That pocket clip's probably a little too tight. It is, we'll just put it under one of the small ones. But you can put all kinds of stuff in here, like this power bank, you can put this in there. Might have to go under two of them. If there's two available, actually it's pretty secure. And you can just organize all your gear all in one spot. I made a small one of these, much, much smaller. And this one actually also has a pocket around back if I'm not mistaken, that is for an iPad. That will not fit my iPad because my iPad is bigger than this whole thing. I have a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. 
uh, but I believe this will fit the 9.7. If you don't have a ton of gear down in your bag and you're minimal, you'll probably never use this. If you're like me and typically have about 5,000 cables in your bag, these things are really, really handy. But some people just think they're a little bit of wasted space. And this, this is the business. This is the Urban 21 commuter bag. And this is what's not out yet. Oh, that's what I had my keys on before. Just this little U-bolt from True Utility. So I switched to that because it's really, really compact. Forgot that was down in there. I just threw it in there when I set up the piece mark. All right, let's get rid of this box. We'll take a look at the bag. Actually, before we do that, let's get it out of this bag. And let's get it out of <laughs> this bag. A bag and a bag and a bag and a box. So there we go. This is really what I would consider an EDC bag, something you would carry with you every day. Ooh, this is nice. That's a nice little metal plate. Um, it says there's a tile pocket. That's why there is this tile. It says find with tile, but where is the tile pocket? Oh, right there it is. All right, we'll get there, we'll get there. So there it is. This is the Urban 21 commuter bag. It is quite compact, especially for me. I carry pretty big bags and I've been trying to downsize and I've been finding downsizing to be very, very difficult. Let's cut this off real quick and see what kind of literature there is with this bag just to get it out of the way, blah, blah, blah. Here's all the specs and everything, the features. Uh, rear sleeve, it does have a hidden rear sleeve, I found that. This is a hard pocket for sunglasses, so you can, you can hear it's hollow, that's really, really hard. Um, airflow channels on the back, pretty standard stuff. Expandable drop pocket for quick access storage. Discreet pocket to hide wallet and passport while traveling, that's the hidden one in the back of the bag. Two water bottle pockets made with expandable mesh. Uh, rear sleeve slides over handle system, so if you have a wheeled luggage, It'll actually connect to that. It is a travel bag, uh, water resistant zippers, hydration reservoir compatible, external water resistant pocket. Uh, and there are different tiers that you can get with this bag. So the basic bag, I do have my laptop here. The basic bag is just the bag and the chest strap, which can come off on both sides. Um, so the basic combo comes with just that. But the only things that I don't have from the top tier, which is the ultimate bundle. I do have this. This is included with the ultimate bundle. What I don't have is a rain fly. Maybe I don't. And I definitely don't have the bottle unless it's inside the bag. I don't know. Let's check this little bottom because I've had a lot of bags that had a rain fly built into the bottom. No. All right, so let's take a closer look at the bag itself. One of the cool features that I really like is this right here. These little clips are called fid locks and I have them on my other camera bag. They're magnetic. So you just kind of hover it near the other end, the male end near the female end and it snaps into place and does not come undone. And to get it apart, you have to just slide it horizontally. Wish more bags had them. Really happy to see it on this one. Uh, but if you take this down, let's go ahead and put the tile tracker inside this pocket, which is designed specifically for the tile slim. And then in here, this is just a little free floating loose pocket that you can put stuff in, but it doesn't open all the way. So you can just stuff like a jacket down in there. I love, love pockets like that. You've got this front pocket, which I believe is totally waterproof. The water, the zippers are waterproof. And this definitely feels like a waterproof material inside there. So you have a waterproof pocket that you can put your phone, your Kindle or something in that you don't want getting wet. You've got straps. Things you can hook to all over. And let's look inside this pocket, which is the hard shell. Man, that is serious business right there. Wow, okay, so there is a key smart pocket as well. Right there, so your key smart actually goes in vertically. It's pretty cool. I don't know if the rugged will fit. The rugged's kind of a big key smart. Fits, sweet. RFID blocking, you can put pins, pencils, wallet, uh, field notes, notebooks, stuff like that, all that in here. You don't ever have to worry about it getting crushed. And this is, I imagine, where you would put, uh, I think you can run a headphone cord right through there, right through the top, or a power cord if you wanted to put the, the power bank in here somewhere. 
you could probably fit that that won't fit there but you could put it right there and run that cord out the top i did see something about that that you can route cables through the bag somehow i did a little bit of homework before this so let's get inside this as best we can on camera uh, easy lock I believe that's to hold the organizer in place because I saw Velcro on the organizer. So I think you can lock that in place right there. That's pretty cool. You can lock that in place and just have that stuff there so this thing's not free floating. And then you've got a laptop pocket. This is supposed to hold up to a 15 inch laptop. I have my MacBook Pro 15 right here. Fits like a glove. That could also be a hydration pocket, I believe, or you can put it the bladder in this front one. Not super, super roomy. I would probably struggle to have, you know, some of my camera gear in here. There is also, I don't know if you can see it, a pocket right here to hold stuff. Pockets everywhere, man. That is what I love. I love, 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 love tons and tons of pockets. There's your outlet for the water valve. You do have a hydration bladder. Really cool. And there is a way you can actually connect your keys or other things with a quick clip. So that's it for the inside. Let's just really quickly take a look at the back. Yep, I thought so. The chest strap is also a fidlock, so just get it near and it'll snap into place. You can slide it off. And let's find that hidden pocket. There it is, right there. So they said you can put your passport and different things right there. Most people would never know that it's there. It's really well hidden. And this is how you can connect it to your rolling luggage. Just slide that over the handle. And there you go. That's, this is really neat. Really, really neat. I, I do tend to carry very large bags from day to day just because I've got a lot of stuff. And I do picture stuff for myself. This website, I do it for a local coffee shop. So I always have my camera with me. My A7R 3 is pretty big. I don't know if it's gonna fit down in there comfortably. It may, it may not. The original, the basic, if you pre-order, you're gonna save $50. That's, that's assuming this website is all accurate right now. Things could change, so keep that in mind. But on this mock website, they did tell me about and sent me the link to. So, the, But this website lists this bag as $250 for the base model. And I believe you can save $50 if you pre-order. The step up, the commuter, which comes with the tile tracker and the power bank is is 30496 at 305 bucks. You can save 8497 if you pre-order. So 21999 and the top tier with everything including a water bottle which looks like a vacuum bottle, the organizer which to be fair looks like a different organizer but I'm not entirely sure and the water cover as well as the tile tracker and the power bank. That's listed at 37495. You can get the whole thing for 250 if you pre-order assuming all of those prices are correct and accurate on this website. There you go. If you want to pre-order this bag or read more about it, see all the different specs and features that I missed because I don't have all the information just yet, uh, there is a link in the description down below. If you like this unboxing and would like me to do more bag stuff, because I know some of you have been asking for it, but if all of you would like to see more bag stuff, let me know. I have some other bags that have been sent to me. I haven't done anything with them yet, uh, but I'd, I'd like to. And I, obviously, as I had announced in one of the the last videos. I'm going full time and once my time is opened up a little bit, I plan to expand the coverage a little. So if you want to see more bag stuff or see what I carry in my bag on a daily basis or how I carry the stuff in the bag or whatever, let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that thumbs up button. But yeah, of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification button so you're notified when I upload new videos. And of course, find us around the web. I'm very active over on Instagram on the Best Damn EDC account. And that is Best MEDC on Instagram and on Twitter. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at Casper Tech. And until next time, carry on.